guys, what's up? I'm Greg, he's Q. Together with Mr. Happy0121. And today, we're reviewing the extra long buttery cheeseburger. Boy, that's the thing nightmares are made of. That's the kind of thing I've, I've had bad dreams about. Butter on a cheeseburger does not sound right. We're also going to talk about fire. All the ingredients are here. This is a teaser. We weren't going to do it today, but if this falls under the 70 rule, it's getting lit up. Let's get a close up. Okay, this is garlic butter. It's not in the title, but it is. And believe me, when you unwrap this thing, it will almost knock you over. Usual Burger King funk lettuce, little bit of ketchup. I'll be honest with you, I do not see anything that says buttery in there to me to suggest there's butter on it. But I could sure smell it. Oh, wait. Wait. Right there. There is the garlic butter. Patented big knife. Once again, another thing that has suddenly started showing up in other videos. The big knife. Who knew? Who knew? Give us a like if you were here when we originated the big knife. Or just give us a like because we're going to eat this god-awful burger. You know, again... We always say that we do our best to keep an open mind and judge fairly. This stinks. It stinks. If you eat one of these and you're going on a date, don't eat it. I was going to say eat a mint, but it's got onions and garlic on it, and it stinks. I might not be the same after this. As always, we cut these in half. This is one of those things people often ask, how do, can you eat so much fast food without being any fatter than you are? Because believe me, I'm pretty fat. <laughs> it helps that I have a partner and we just cut these things in half. Are you ready? See, what I usually do is vomit after we eat all the food. Yeah, right in the, yeah. right in the yeah. I do not promote that in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to go here where the meat is. I'm not going to just take a bite of, like, gunk. Go where the meat is. Here we go. Second bite. Third and final bite. New grading scale, 0 to 100. If we both agree under 70, we set it on fire. Now, we weren't going to do this in advance, so if it happens today, it's just a bonus. What do you give it? 62. What didn't you like about it? The, Should... <laughs> the butter and the onions and the... No, just wasn't... The meat tasted weird too. That's flame grilling, my friend. Yeah, shouldn't shouldn't do that. No. no. So you would, if this was on the ABC, this would be a D. This would be a low D, D minus. Sixty two. You guys know I wanted to hate it. You guys know <laughs> that I wanted to set this on fire, but I'm gonna tell you. I took a bite off the end first, where I got the garlic and the meat. You took it last. I give this a 78. Sorry, guys. If you're going to order this, have them leave the onions and the mayo off. I was fine with the lettuce for once. The onions were just too much. It was a bit too much with the garlic. And I love onions. And the mayo really kind of diminished the what they were going for with the garlic flavor. The little bit of ketchup they put on there was fine. Actually, it kind of helped. Get rid of the mayo and the onions, and this would probably be like... A 90 with me. Oh, but as it stands, it's a 78. And I'm going to say I'm surprised it's just that good because you guys know I wanted to light it up. But I will tell you this. We are now in full go mode on the new scoring system. We have everything we need. We've got our fireproof container. We have our stick lighter. We have our fire extinguishers. We are not going to share with you on this channel the final ingredient that produces the fire because it's kind of like, uh, what's that show? MacGyver. It's like they didn't show you how to do the trick. We don't want to encourage anybody to burn down their house. Uh, but if you go to the Mr. Happy 012 on Facebook where there is no law, we'll show you exactly how we produce the flame and how it's going to look. We still don't encourage you to set anything on fire, but... We will show you how the trick is done over there. Um, we'll give you a real brief look over on Instagram. But yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. As soon as this video is done, we're going to um, display how this will work. 
We may even go ahead and burn this on there as a one time only, just to show you, just to get to know you. Facebook shout outs, now over 250 likes. Christian the Vila, thank you so much for your like. Thank you, Christian. Thanks. We like you. Patricia Offerman. Thank you, Patricia. We appreciate it. And then, as always, we save the hardest name for last, and it really isn't too hard. <laughs> so since I'm confident I can say this name correctly, I will fumble it badly. Aaron Pertel, thanks for watching. We appreciate all three of you guys. And since you are already friends on Facebook or liked on Facebook or however the hell that works, you're going to see this video we're going to put up over there in just a minute. Don't know what we're doing on the Mr. Dark channel this week, but look for something over there on Wednesday. I have a feeling it's going to be an energy drink. Right on. And then Friday, we will be right back here doing something. Unless something awesome comes out between now and then and we pop up because you know that's how we do. Otherwise, we'll be back on Friday. You can always find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus, and Snapchat. And yes, I read that. And you know the new thing we're doing on Snapchat is we're doing that annoying thing where we show us at the drive through oh, which everybody else does awesome. in their videos. But the advantage of ours is it only lasts eight seconds. So that is that is truly awesome. All right, guys. Until next time, stay vigilant. We made a reaction video to the Fine Brothers' recent developments on their channel. Um, we decided to stick it on the Mr. Dark channel because we didn't want any hassles for our main channel. Surprise, surprise, surprise. This video was up seven minutes and then it disappeared. Uh, we reloaded it overnight and hopefully it will still be there for you guys to go discover. So if you want to see this video while it's still around, click the link in the description below. Come see us.